Hi, I'm Bradley Locklear, Housing Director for the Lumby Tribe of North Carolina, and today I'd like to update our tribal members on the Dreamcatcher project. You know, Dreamcatcher is not where our story begins, it's simply the continuation of progress. In the wake of Hurricane Matthew, it became painfully obvious that our tribal members were in great need. Families already in need of safe and affordable housing were joined by financially secure families that lost everything due to the storms. Tribal Chairman Harvey Godwin had the vision to implement a plan to build affordable housing communities. It was Governor Roy Cooper who echoed the chairman, stating, damage and destruction from Hurricane Matthew highlighted the lack of safe, affordable housing across North Carolina. As we've seen time and again, those who can afford it the least are often the ones hurt the most by disaster. Chairman Godwin, along with his administrative team, began to devise a solution to address tribal members' need for affordable housing. With increased demand due to the storms, available low-income rental options were minimal at best. The planning efforts of the Tribal Administration began. HUD advised us to utilize land that the tribe already owned. The sites were vacant and on good land, well outside of the floodplains. They were positioned in and around vital Lumbee communities throughout the tribal territory, Union Chapel, Prospect, and Raynham. With available land, the decision was made with the support of Tribal Council to construct 50 single-family dwellings used for low-income rentals for tribal members. A study was conducted using a census-qualified tract based on the 2010 census that produced results that indicated that these three communities did indeed have a high population of Native Americans as well as a high population of low-income families in need of safe and sanitary affordable housing. The site at Union Chapel in Pembroke will have a total of 15 units. The site at Prospect in Maxton will have 12 units. And the site at Raynham in Roland will have 23 units. What you are watching now is a virtual tour designed by our architectural firm based on our floor plan for Dreamcatcher. All units will be Energy Star single family homes constructed on elevated slabs and redesigned with new specs that will create positive drainage away from the home. These homes are approximately 1,250 square feet with 30-year shingles, vinyl siding, and with solid vinyl windows. Two by six studs around the bathroom and washer and dryer room. Interior walls will have 5-8 gypsum board with nine-foot ceilings that have R30 value blown-in insulation. The homes will be heated and cooled by a 14-series split system heat pump Flooring will consist of vinyl tile that reduces allergens and requires low maintenance and care. Each unit will have covered parking and covered access to the home's entrance. The infrastructure will create a safe environment that includes drainage with curb and gutter leading to outlet boxes. There will be adequate fire hydrants, clean county water supply, street lights, underground power lines, internet, telephone, and cable. At least one in eight units will be handicap accessible. All homes will be served by public water supply from Robson County. Union Chapel Subdivision will be connected to the town of Pembroke sewer system, while Prospect and Raynham will have individual septic systems authorized by the Robson County Department of Public Health. The Lumbee Tribe maintains a waiting list of those in need of housing, which currently registers more than 300 qualified households. The new homes in Dreamcatcher communities will address a portion of this great need. So let's talk about the financing. And what is a HUD Title VI loan? Simply put, it's a loan taken out by the Lumbee Tribe, financed by the Lumbee Guarantee Bank, and secured by HUD. The HUD Title VI loan program is available to tribes across the country for the construction of affordable housing. However, in reality, it's so much more than that. This loan is an opportunity to open a line of credit that could provide a financing option that will lead to a wave of housing construction never seen before, at least not in this part of Indian country. In the words of HUD, success builds success, meaning success of this project, financed with a HUD Title VI loan, leads to more HUD Title VI financing, which leads to more Dreamcatcher communities. The Golden Leaf Foundation has provided a $585,000 grant to support the infrastructure of the Dreamcatcher project. These funds will be leveraged with the $6 million HUD Title VI loan, along with $3.5 million of NAHASA funding to build 50 homes in one year, totaling just over $10 million. 
Another advantage of this process is that we get to build at today's prices as opposed to the cost of material increases and inflation that will occur over the next five years. Plus, we get to address the immediate need now. The monthly loan repayments are NAHASA approved activities. All residential households will be at or below 80% of the national adjusted median income. No household will pay more than 20% of its monthly income for rent and utilities. The properties will be owned and operated by the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina as a shining example of our own self-determination. The success of Dreamcatcher Brainham, Dreamcatcher Union Chapel, and Dreamcatcher Prospect will determine the success of Dreamcatcher Stedman, and Dreamcatcher Fairmont, and Dreamcatcher Saddletree, and Dreamcatcher Renner, and so forth and so on. So I'd like to thank you all for your time, and may God bless you, and may God continue to bless the Lumbee Tribe.